Hi crypto fans, welcome to CCS Cryptocurrency State. My name is Santiago, I'm a web developer and investor. And in today's video, we are going to cover Eigon Layer. This is an airdrop and free to participate. Of course, this is a speculative airdrop. We don't have a token yet. We don't have too much information about that part. My perspective is this project is going to have a token. Like always in my videos, we are going to talk a little bit about Eigon Layer. What is this protocol? I think it's one of the only ones protocol that do this in the Ethereum protocol too. So it's really interesting, has a nice amount of founding behind, good companies behind this project. And like always, I'm going to go step by step with everything that you need to do in order to participate on this possible airdrop of agent layer. So all that you need to do and everything is going to be explained. This is not an easy airdrop. You may be lost if you try to do it by yourself. So I'm going to do everything step by step with you on this particular airdrop. And if this is your first time here, remember at CryptocurrencyState.net, you can see all my videos. I mostly cover airdrops, different airdrops that I am really focused on doing big research, knowing the best projects available for doing an airdrop. So you can go to the video section. Of course, I have Sikai Sing and Layer Zero, but I also have some other airdrops that may not be popular in the crypto space. So those are great opportunities too. And also I do some educational videos about how to protect your airdrop wallets, for example, how to use multiple wallets and many other stuff. So if you are an airdrop hunter, you will like to see these videos, but mostly you are going to need my subscriptions. This is a game changer if you are doing airdrops. First, we have a subscription to my Discord. This is a private Discord where we manage a high quality of data. Actually, people hate me already in my Discord because I am pushing all the time to get the level of discussion of airdrops, airdrop distribution and everything always on a high level. So if you really want to participate in a community where we don't do much small chats, but we really focus on making money in airdrops, you need to be there. And also my application is growing, guys. I am almost ready to launch a new update that is going to help us a lot to apply to airdrops. But you have two videos on how my app works. You can see this. If you are doing multiple wallets, you must to use my app. It's the easiest way. I managed to do 12 wallets for Arbitrum in a very easy way and did thousands of dollars, of course. So check the videos to subscribe to my app, to subscribe to my Discord. It's a game changer if you are doing airdrops. Before we begin, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get the notifications. And without anything else, let's get into it. Guys, Agent Layer is a protocol built on Ethereum that introduces restaking, allowing users to restake tokens that are locked up to validate Ethereum. So those tokens can be reused to help secure other protocols. That is really, really great innovation on the world of staking, because right now you cannot do that. You, the staking rewards and the staking pools doesn't work on that way. Once that you stake to validate the Ethereum network, that's it. You cannot take out your tokens. You cannot use it to secure and validate other protocols. So the concept of restaking guys is amazing. In the post of my video, of course, we are going to have the links directly to the official documentation. You can read the white paper and everything regarding the technological part of this project, if you are interested in that. But just for a question of time, I'm not going to do that in this video. The big review, you can do it yourself or you can ask in the Discord. But some important points about the Asian layer is that it has raised 50 million in a Series A round led by Blockchain Capital on March 2023. And Asian Labs raised its funds in August 2022 with a 14.5 million seed round led by Polychain Capital and Ethereal Ventures. So they have a total of 64 million fundraises so far. So it's not a small amount. It's not the hundreds of millions like Lina or Sikai Sing had, but it's a pretty reasonable and great opportunity for a possible airdrop. And also consensus mentioned it about it, so don't take it lightly. As of now, there is no plan of launching a token and airdrop, no officially at least, but it's my personal view that it's very possible in the future. Not only the token launch, but an airdrop launch. 
And guys, before going to the step by step, I just want to say that if you have been wanting to have one of my subscriptions, even if they are cheap, if you cannot afford it, I'm going to do a giveaway tomorrow, Thursday, on Twitter of some of my subscriptions. One, it will be one annual subscription for the app on the Discord and two, monthly subscription free so you can try it. So stay tuned at Crypto C State in Twitter because tomorrow I'm going to launch a giveaway of subscriptions 100% free for you. So check Twitter tomorrow, follow me in Twitter, Crypto C State, if you want one of my free subscriptions. I really promote this guys because it has been life changing for me. Not only the incredible people in my Discord, but my app also helped me to make thousands of dollars on airdrops. And that is why I'm sharing the app with you. So if you want to be part of my subscriptions for free, check tomorrow Twitter, follow me at Crypto C State and check the Twitter tomorrow. Now, like always in my videos, follow them on Twitter, Engine Layer. You have the link here. You are going to have it in the post of my video in the description and follow them on Discord. Actually, the communities are not that big for the type of project. You can see 39,000 followers only. Of course, it's a new project, it's in uh, early stages, but yeah, the community of course is growing, but it's not a massive community right now like would be sweet. So maybe the participants on the testnet right now are going to be rewarded in the future, we don't know, but that is why follow them on Twitter and Discord, so you are also up to date with the news. Now, the step three is that you need to have your Goalig Ethereum network connected and you need to have Goalig Ethereum Thousand tokens. I am not going to do that in this video. I already covered that in a particular video. So go to the link. You are going to see this post. In this post, you have my video where I explain how to connect to Goalig Ethereum, how to get Goalig Ethereum tokens. Actually, what is Goalig Ethereum and all that? So follow this video on step three. So you get the connection to the Goalig Ethereum network and you get the Goalig Ethereum tokens. After you do that, that is step three. We go to step four. Step four is that you need to get ST Ethereum and R Ethereum testnet tokens. So we don't have these ones. We are going to review how to do this. So follow the official documentation and what I show in this video. So go to this link. That link is going to send you to the official documentation of Engine Layer. And here in guys, we go to get testnet tokens. And in the down part here, you have this, which is send Go Ethereum, Golic Ethereum to the ST Ethereum contract. This is going to give you the ST Ethereum tokens in return. So this is the first thing that we need to do. And then we need to do the swap in Rocket Pool testnet to get the other R Ethereum tokens. So let's start with this. So you are start here in Goalig Ethereum testnet with your Goalig Ethereum tokens. And now we are going to send some of them into this contract address. So copy this address, go here to Goalig Ethereum and just send some of your Goalig Ethereum. Doesn't matter how much you have, just send some. For example, I will send 0.2. Click I understand here and then click on send on next. I will edit this in order to have priori priority on my sending the token here and I will click confirm. So after you send the tokens, the Goalig Ethereum into this address, you need to copy here the contract of the token and you need to add it here on your Goalig Ethereum. So go down here, click import tokens, paste the token here and add custom token. And you can see I sent 0.2 and I received 0. 19999 so import tokens and this would be the first step which is sending garlic ethereum and receiving st ethereum tokens so you can see i have the tokens here now the other token that we need is r ethereum so we go to the testnet of rocket pool here here we go here to the wallet to connect we are in the testnet so we connect with the metamask on garlic ethereum First, click here to uh, enable everything, click on MetaMask, connect into the Rocket Pool testnet. Once you are here, you can see your balance here. And you can see what says here, swapping using Rocket Pool testnet. So you need to stake some amount of Wallet Ethereum that you want to test. Confirm the transaction and there again we are going to add this token. 
So you are here, I'm going to put here 0 0.2 and I'm going to stake this. Confirm the transaction. Here you need to wait a couple of minutes. And guys, I have an error on the transaction. So since for what I see in the error, that I need to stake less than that. So I will put 0 0.02. And I will stake that. Well guys, since that after trying a lot of times, there's no way that I could get this. Like it says here, the deposit pool currently has a maximum capacity of 18,000. And once more node operators come online to process the deposit pool Ethereum, you will be able to make this deposit. So I am not able to stake this right now. But after you stake this, because I did it yesterday, so it's not working today. Maybe in a couple of hours we are going to be able to do this. Don't worry, this doesn't affect us to test the testnet. We are going to see that now. But let's say that I could stake this. It's very easy, just confirm the transaction. Then what you need to do again here is copy this address and you add that into your MetaMask again in the assets section. You are going to see that these are Ethereum. So add custom tokens import tokens you can see i don't have any right now the pool is not working import tokens there so now i have it in my metamask so if you have the same issue that i have here just try in a couple of hours or maybe tomorrow but anyways we are going to be able to do it with the st ethereum that we already get sending to this address so this is a complicated step just be patient if this works it you are already okay we are going to be able to test it with st ethereum but try to do the stake on the rocket pool to get also their ethereum tokens so after you finish step four we go to step five which is connect to the engine testnet here is the garlic engine layer url so you just need to click there and it's going to send you to this page here, of course, you need to connect your wallet. Always using Garlic Ethereum. And you can see here you have two tokens to select. One is the ST Ethereum, the other R Ethereum. We were not able right now to get this one, so we are going to do it only with Lido Stake It Ethereum. So click here on Lido. And here is super easy what you need to do. Just you need to deposit some tokens here. You can see I have 0 0.2, so I will put 0 0.1 and I will click on deposit and I will click next. And I'm going to, of course, continue with the transaction, click approve. And you can see the transaction status, the deposit was successful. You can check this on Etherscan, of course, on the Warlick Explorer. There you go, you can see that was correctly done. So basically we were able to do the little staking and that will be guys step six remember to after some time try to do it with the rocket pool ethereum also now we move to step seven now we need to try to unstake in any of the staked pools after the success the process will take seven days until you really can withdraw and see the option to withdraw there everything guys of course is in the official documentation we are doing the step by step there also you can go to the links and everything is explained in there but I'm doing the step by step just in case so you don't miss any of these details so after we did that you can see that we already restake it 0.1 now we are going to unstake here and I will put 0.2 we click on next and you can see this is Quain 0.02 ST Ethereum for withdraw and you can see that the withdraw quick was successful also you can check it on meter scan but basically with that we already start the process here for the withdraw so I will cancel that and you can see that I have an staked pending 0.02 and I cannot click the withdraw button I need to wait 7 days until I am available to do the withdraw so come back in 7 days and complete this transaction so you also have registered a withdraw on the application after doing that you are done guys one comment here is that the user should only try the native restaking path if they already have their own validators on Wearly or know how to set up one. If not, please go down the liquid restaking path. What we just did is the liquid restaking path. What is calling native restaking is another process and like say there, you need to have your own validators on Wearly. It's not our case. 
If you want to enter into that and start doing that, you have here your native restaking path, but you may get into one part where you're going to need some knowledge about coding. And for example, here, so this is not basic stuff for only users. So you may not do this part, but what I'm going to tell you to do here, just in case is one transaction, which is create Asian prod. You only confirm one transaction. You cannot continue that without doing the rest of the guide, but at least we interact in this transaction with the, that native restating part. We are not actually doing too much there, but just for the grace of having that transaction, it's okay. So the testnet for now is only this part. You have the native restaking or the liquid restaking. We cover it, the liquid staking. I am not going to cover the native restaking. I don't think that is necessary. That is more if you want to run in all and it's more complex. And I think there's no need to do that for the possible airdrop. So the only thing for this video is going to be try to do it in rocket pool after the pool and node validators are available to stake there. I was able yesterday, today filming the video and not available. And you can see that the transaction status after a couple of minutes, the pod creation was successful. So you also can check here on Ethereum and go to the pod details, but we actually cannot do much more from here. We do have zero validators here. So here is the end of these guys. Just to the purpose of created that pod, but we cannot do anything else. So guys, that is all for ancient layer. Airdrop for now, these are the first steps and this is the only thing that we can do for the testnet. This is early stages, this airdrop could happen by the end of the year or even later than that. So we need to be patient here. I'm going to continue cover this project because I think it's really unique and solves a real problem on the staking Ethereum mechanism. But actually this could probably be used for many other staking protocols. It's really revolutionary from my perspective, so I will keep an eye on this. And guys, before we leave, remember that tomorrow I am doing a giveaway of my subscriptions on Cryptocurrency State Twitter account, which is Crypto C State, Crypto C State. So follow me at Crypto C State there and check the tweet of tomorrow. We are going to do a giveaway of free subscriptions to my app and my Discord. So if you have any problems with the fees of the subscription, it's going to be your opportunity to maybe win one of those subscriptions. Guys, that is all for this video. Remember, before we leave, like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get the notifications. And I will see you tomorrow with another video. Bye.